Hello everybody, I'm Caden Stewart uh, with Nick Ostinacio and Liam Curley. So today we're going to be talking about your fantasy football roster and how you can make the best PPR team. So in our first position, we will have quarterback. So Nick, who is your uh, top pick for quarterback and why? Um, to be honest, my top pick, pick for quarterback, um, this was a little uh, contest. Uh, I almost went with a two-way tie, but Aaron Rodgers. I'm thinking Rodgers is looking good going into this season. He's coming off injury um, from last season, but I think he'll definitely do good last season or this season, um, seeing as last season he was the top-rated quarterback. Um, but yes, it was definitely um, almost a tie between him and Carson Wentz. So my pick will probably be Drew Brees. I mean, after the Michael Thomas contract extension, Michael Thomas is already one of the best wide receivers in the league, maybe even the best. And uh, I really think with him, Alvin Kamara, uh, Mark Ingram, that's going to be this. They're going to be probably the team to beat in the NFC South. Um, I'm going to go with Andrew Luck. He had a great season last year if, with rehab, and definitely Drew Brees could be a contender. They don't have Mark Ingram anymore. He's on the Ravens, but it's been tough for Andrew Luck for the past five seasons. He had a lot of injury problems. He was out two straight years of injuries, and last year he looked really good. He led the Colts to the playoffs, and I think he'll do that again this year. So our next position is running back. So Nick, who do you think is top running back? Uh, for me. Um, my top running back, um, this was my, this was the centerpiece of my team for fantasy last year, Alvin Kamara. He had an amazing season last year, and I think this season he's only going to get better. I remember last year he averaged like 25, 30 points a game for me, and I think that he's just going to dominate on the field. My running back would probably be Saquon Barkley for the New York Giants. So Barkley is probably going to get tons more action now with the trade of Odell Beckham Jr., and Sterling Shepard and uh, Russell Shepard are also going to be coming up in the roster for the Giants. But getting back to Saquon Barkley, he had an amazing season against the Eagles, who only allowed an average of maybe 20 rushing yards a game. He scores 140 rushing yards on them in one game. He's definitely going to be the, uh, one of the best players in the NFC. I'm going to have to agree with Caden. Saquon Barkley last year as a rookie looked phenomenal, and I think it'll just get better in the second year. So our third position is tight end. So Nick, who do you think is uh, top tight end? Um, top tight end, Zach Ertz. He dominated last year. That's, I mean, that's just kind of one of the things. I'm not a big fan of the tight end position. Um, I don't usually focus on tight end. I focus on trying to get wide receivers, running backs, and um, that flex position. I try and fill those, and then tight end, I kind of just let it be that position for like added points. So I think Zach Ertz can like do that job, add those points for you, get you that weekly win. Um, so yeah, I think Zach Ertz is going to be really good this year. All right, so my tight end would probably be Travis Kelsey. Like with all the uh, confusion surrounding Tyree Kill, I think Kelsey's going to be getting a lot more receptions and a lot more throws from quarterback Patrick Mahomes. So um, yeah. for the past three years, I've said Rob Gronkowski, but of course with his retirement this year, I'm going to say Zach Ertz. He's going to be, he's been an important part of the Eagles for the past three years, and I think we'll just get more receptions this year with Carson Wentz healthy, and they had a great bond. And our fourth position is wide receiver. So Nick, who do you think is top wide receiver? Um, top wide receiver, that's a tough one. I would have said Antonio Brown had he not been traded, just because I don't know how the Raiders are going to do, how their quarterback's going to do, but I think I'm going to have to go with maybe Odell Beckham. Um, on the Browns because I think he's just going to dominate on the Browns. Um, yeah, I think Odell Beckham. My top wide receiver would be DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins was, had an insane season last year for the Houston Texans. Deshaun Watson and him have great, uh, great connection on the field. I think he's going to get tons more receptions than he did last year, and he's definitely going to uh, have about maybe 30 points of fantasy game on his good days. I think this is hands down Michael Thomas. Last year had a great year. He was the only healthy wide receiver for the entire of the year. Saints played every game, almost every snap. And I think we'll do the same this year. He'll carry the team again, and he's been he's just been great. All right. So our next position is flex, which in case you haven't played fantasy football, it is tight end, wide receiver, or running back. So Nick, who do you think it is? Um, I think for a flex position, I I consider the flex position as a position. Again, as an add-on, but more of an less of an add-on, more of a critical position than tight end. So I think for flex, 
I'm going to have to double up and go with Alvin Kamara just because of how dominant he was last year. I know I did a repeat. I'm sorry. But Alvin Kamara was so dominant, I can't turn that down. My flex would probably be Devontae Adams. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams again. They have uh, great connections on the field. They can hit long passes. They can hit touchdowns all over the place. He can have great running yards, and that's just going to power him to the big year. I think I'm going to go Christian McCaffrey. He's on the Panthers. He's good in the air and on the ground. I think he's just the perfect flex for any team. All right, so our, our next position is kicker. So many people may not be familiar with kicker, so we're going to try our best with the kick, uh, with kicking position. So, Nick, who do you think is your top kicker? Um, I got to go with Jake Elliott. I'm sorry. He's just he, – he was so good last year. He was so clutch. Um, Jake Elliott um, playing for the Eagles, yeah. I do have to agree, though, Christian McCaffrey, great flex. Um, if I hadn't doubled up, I would have said him. But, yeah, Jake Elliott, dominated last year. Came in clutch when he needed to. Made those clutch punts. I think he made, like, a 62-yard punt for the Eagles record or something. He's so clutch. I think he will definitely be the best kicker in the NFL. All right. My kicker is going to be Harrison Buckner for the Chiefs. The Chiefs are definitely scoring a lot of touchdowns, and if not, getting in the red zone giving Harrison Bucker easy field goals and getting him three points a kick for your fantasy team. So if you have a chance to, in the late rounds, get Harrison Bucker. Greg Caroline, he scored the Rams only points in the Super Bowl, and he was super good last year. He had, like, I think, what, 10-plus, 50-yard-plus field goals last year. He was super good last year, and I would draft him. And our, and our seventh and final position will be defense. So, Nick, who do you think is your top defense? Ooh, defense. Uh, this is kind of a tough one. I know last year the Jaguars and the Vikings and the Eagles were dominant. Um, I got to go with the Eagles just because of Fletcher Cox and all those. Like, like, we were a defensive powerhouse last year, the Eagles. And I think that that powerhouse, that, that energy that the Eagles have, that's going to carry them and that's going to, like, have us get interceptions for fantasy, get like um, pick six even sometimes. I mean, that pick six would be great. So I'm definitely going to say the Eagles just because of how dominant it is. Also, offensive line, Fletcher Cox, big dude, rush the quarterback, get those sacks in. Uh, my defense would probably be the Chicago Bears with the addition of Prince and Mook Kamara and quarterback and Cahill Mack and defensive end. Mack is a terror on the field. He's probably going to get maybe two to two sacks a game. And if I'm right, the Bears led the league in interceptions in uh, regular season last year. So I'm definitely going to go with the Bears for my defense. I'm going to agree with Caden. Um, the Bears were super good last year. And I don't think their offense will be as good as they were last year. I think they'll kind of be like the Jaguars. But their defense will just be as dominant. All right. This is Caden Stewart. Nick Ostinacio. And Liam Curley signing off for now. All right. So good luck in your fantasy league this year.